Hey everyone, it's Miko Jin here, and welcome to another video. Um, well, uh, before I start to talk about this special looking box, uh, I'm gonna apologize for not being active because school and stuff and maybe procrastination has been happening. Happening, and yeah. So here's a little makeup and sorry video, and also I'm actually doing this for uh, my dad's friend. And this is a little arts and crafts thing that I received. So it is called, uh, it's from Flipping Notes, Crafting Your Own Story. And really, uh, and I'm doing a DIY celebratory balls. That's literally what it's called. And these are like really pretty things, like little flower ribbons and like, it's so pretty. And little instructions included, good. So yeah, uh, be sure to really check them out because I've seen this their stuff and it's just beautiful really and these are like you can actually kill time by making these and you can also decorate your house with uh, neat movie things and I believe these things are uh, not that expensive actually. Okay though, okay it's uh, 32 Singapore dollars but, but really with such fancy materials. <laughs> It's kind of cheap actually, and it's like a nice little tall milk carton thing, so let's open this up. And you have a handle, so you can carry it easily. Ooh, let's see what we have in here. So first up, we have a giant lollipop. <gasps> ah, it's basically a styrofoam ball glued to a stick. Oh, I could use this for cosplay. Yeah, but I can't eat this. <laughs> And I think that's like the base. And so we have ribbons. Ooh, lace. These are nice. Okay, pretty cool. And then we have, oh, I feel something. A plastic flower part with a little piece of styrofoam in it. Ooh, styrofoam. Hmm, quite a natural vibe. That's cute. Gotta stick it in somewhere. Okay, and then we've got a, a little cork part. I guess this is supposed to be the dirt. There's a, there's a pretty punched hole in it, so okay. Right. Oh, a few more things. So we, oh, okay. So we got two things. I think we've got some needles, some nails. Okay, um, not for children under three, because this might hurt them. So tiny little needle nails things, and this is some um, chalk paint. Okay, black chalk paint okay pretty cool and we have a normal white yeah chalk and i think this is a chalk it looks like chalk okay cool and i guess the box is empty now so yeah we have these really nice instructions they're a bit hard to read but they're really nicely printed actually so hmm. Uh, step one, working on styrofoam ball to create a ribbon ball. Things needed, styrofoam ball with stick, assorted ribbons, okay. Pins, optional. You may substitute it with glue, okay. Three steps, pick a ribbon and curl it into a circle. Pin it onto the styrofoam ball. Curl the whole ball using assorted ribbons. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, let us start with this. <laughs> um, so we basically choose a ribbon. Okay, I am going to choose the uh, this first bit. It's a lovely ribbon. Oh, they cut it for you. This makes it a lot simpler, actually. So let's open this little bag of pins here. I'm scared of pins. Oh, scared. <laughs> it's like string art. Oh, these are short. Okay, so the instructions say that I curl into a circle, pin it onto the start of a mold. Okay, so image. Okay, I don't know how you exactly are supposed to do that, but okay, oh, there's nothing. Let's start on this owl. Oh god, I poor ball. It's <laughs> been so much pain. Ow, this is painful. To do with your hands, so be prepared to suffer for your art. Or you could use glue, but oh, it looks pretty dandy, pretty cool, pretty neat. So, well, I guess I'm not gonna stick to one ribbon design, I'm just gonna maybe mix and match a little. 
Okay, let's just put this back in its plastic bag before it gets jumbled up with the rest. And ooh, cherry! Cool. Hmm. Let's just take these apart and then they'll also lace. Pure white ribbon, pure red ribbon. Ooh, I mean polka dot ribbon and pure red ribbon. Candy red, yeah. Okay, I'm sort of feeling it for the lace. I guess I like lace. It's nice. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a while, so this may be time-lapsed. <laughs> but if it is not time-lapsed, I will continue talking and talking. Uh, oh, this is so, wait, we can, oh, so you can put it any way you want. Okay, cool. Hmm, this is art after all. <laughs> So I will probably speed this up and well, I will come back to you guys once I am done.
well, painfully pinning all these lovely ribbons onto your flower. Let's move on to the next step. Warning, this may take a few hours, as in the pinning part. It takes quite a long time, so as they just did little patterns with it, and they give, they provide sufficient ribbons, so yeah, very cool. Okay, so step two, preparing the vase. Okay, you, things you need, the vase, chalk paint, check. A uh, paintbrush to provide your own. Okay, so they don't provide you with a paintbrush. Okay, I think it's gonna get messy, so hmm. I'm just gonna bust out a little, little paintbrush. Yeah, this is all I did. And maybe perhaps some newspaper under here. So, yeah. Next up, we a sort of, oh wait, no, wrong step, whoopsie, uh, and paintbrush and chalk. So what we have to do is, using your little paintbrush, paint vase with chalk paint provided. Paint to cover surface area, do not be excessive, okay. Hmm. Okay, so we don't need really, so let's open up these, uh, cat chalk paint, Ooh. it's not that much actually, it's just, it's kind of dry vinyl of some sort, I guess. Okay, so uh, I will cut back to when I get some water to go with this. Okay, I'm back. I'm now with the water. It's so impressive you wet the brush or something. So I'm going to get some. It's like mix it in a good mixture or something. And not supposed to be solid and um people who made this thing um i think the box <laughs> maybe it was sort of like faulty and stuff so yeah like it's like solid i added quite a lot of water on it already and it's like still solid and yeah uh, i don't think i'll be able to do this step so okay let's skip the vase part Okay. Hmm. Okay, so basically the chalk here is for to make this little base chalkboard, but we don't need it. So attaching the ribbon ball to the base. So here's the next part. Square star four, it's at your best, where cup four and ribbon ball. Okay, cool. Okay, locate the top, the hole found in the square circle. Use the hole found in the middle of the round couple. Pierce the stick attached through the hole in the couple and... Okay, um, guys, I'm sorry, but this hole is kind of small, like really small. This thing doesn't even fit in here, so... Yeah, perhaps you can make your hole bigger, sort of, maybe. Uh, and you could also work on your cookbook. Uh, okay, alright, I got it. So, yeah. Secure on the right. And, well, I'm actually done with this now. So, okay, overall, it's pretty nice. It's really beautiful, actually. I must say I would actually I would I would I wouldn't go and go like be those people like who rate stuff but really uh guys uh, I'm not sure what happened to your paint here is chalk uh like chalk paint supposed to be you know solid I'm I'm not sure if it's supposed to be solid it's like it's like rubber or something so well. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for all bearing with me and watching this review as I painstakingly put all these lovely ribbons into this beautiful ball, but 
Well, I don't need it to be a chunk, but it's still beautiful, actually. It's really pretty. So go check them out if you want to uh, do these kind of crafts. Thanks for watching. Do, uh, like and subscribe if you like it. Bye.